Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2025, and we are here in the booth of Densitas, and we're talking to Mo Abdelel. He is CEO of the company. Uh, Mo, thanks for being with us again. Pleasure, pleasure. So Densitas does mammography QA software. Can you talk a little bit in more detail about what exactly you guys do? Right, and we've really focused all of our suite, our, our Densitas Breast AI suite on mammography quality. And what does that mean? That means all the way from MQSA reporting for density, MQSA equipped enhancing quality using the inspection program, uh, and uh, now um, also the medical outcomes audit reporting. We're really doing an end-to-end -end MQSA solution. Um, in there, we've also recently this year also pr uh, um, released our uh, Intellirisk product, which adds uh, the dimension of uh, high-risk patient management. And um, really, uh, this year we are very proud of having uh, been uh, graduated from the um, uh, ACR Learning Network uh, Collaborative, um, uh, Mammography uh, Positioning Improvement Collaborative, uh, and now we're a vendor partner with the ACR. Oh, perfect. And so what are you guys uh, highlighting here at RSNA? Well, we're actually here to show our integrated, um, um, connected um, ecosystem for mammography quality. And that includes, like I indicated, density, uh, quality, uh, risk, and tracking. Okay, so this, uh, a breast imaging center might use your software to make sure that patients are being positioned properly, radiation dose, things like that. Yeah, and, and the reason we focus in on quality so much is because uh, there's a couple of presentations uh, actually this this week um, where we have shown that our um, our quality uh, positioning uh, solution is actually able to distinguish the performance of short-term uh, risk. So the Mirai risk algorithm performs differentially uh, between um, the better quality, better positioned mammograms and the poorer quality positioned mammograms. So quality is so essential for risk assessment and uh, by extension diagnostics. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get quality right, um, everything else relies on it. And so yeah. we have been very particular about building a platform that addresses quality first because everything is built on quality. Now, let's talk a little bit about efficiency because with mammography screening, you, you've got so many uh, women that are going through screening programs. Why is efficiency so important? Well, efficiency is important at different levels. And you can think about it as something that is more related to the mouse mile. That's, that's something that has been talked about a lot. But there's also another area that you could call it the paper mile. And the reason that those are both important is that the, the uh, mouse mile is something that really impacts the radiologists. It impacts workflows. It impacts uh, interpretation time. Um, whereas the paper mile is something that's more administrative. It's more operational at the, at the organizational level. And AI is really suited to address both of those issues because if you want to have a sustainable, scalable um, mammography program and, and service delivery, you need to think about these efficiencies. Yeah, and where, where are some of the areas that you think radiology IT software like what you guys have developed can help workflow the most? Right, I, again, AI, you know, the graveyard for AI is in the deployment, is that final mile. And if you don't have it available when you need it and where you need it, i.e. if it's not integrated into the workflow or if you've redesigned your workflows and your processes to incorporate it effectively, if you haven't done that, no AI is going to help you. So at the end of the day, AI is a tool. It's going to it, it potentially solve problems that are maybe difficult and, or intractable otherwise. But at the end of the day, if it doesn't fit in your workflows, it won't work. Yeah. 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 And, and how much of a difference do you see between workflow AI and maybe like point, 
point source or point detection AI that, that maybe yes. radiologists are using yeah. for mammography images? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you walk around RSNA, what you'll often see is what's the latest, greatest area under the curve for a diagnostic algorithm, whether it's breast uh, detection or, or, or any other type of detection solution. Um, we have, we, we, we're playing in a different arena. We're, we're focused in on specifically the operational uh, aspects of the efficiencies that are gained by AI, not so much the detection. Because radiologists are actually quite good at detecting. And the delta between a radiologist and the AI is not really, um, and the evidence shows it, it's not really as big as being able to eliminate hours, hours and hours of time from the radiologist's workflow yeah. in terms of operational yeah. uh, impact. And, and so in, in AI, foundation models have been the hot new thing. Where do you see foundation models fitting in and do you see have much potential there? Uh, that's a really great question because these foundation models, a lot of hype about them. Um, first, first they're you know, the one model that rules them all. It's going to be a panacea. It's going to be the pill that you take. It's going to solve all your problems. and and. People forget that AI is a much broader domain. Um, AI is, is, is certainly no AGI now. I think everybody's gotten off the hype uh, wagon. There's no AGI. Uh, but, but even these large language models, they're so big and they're so trained on a general corpus that's so big. Um, to use them for very specific use cases, narrow AI does much better than them. Narrow AI does much better. And so we've been doing this for a while. Um, narrow AI has been around for years, well before this hype. And so even the large language models need to be fine-tuned to become narrow, to be effective. So at the end of the day, I think it's just important for people to remember there's no magic pill you take, and AI is not going to suddenly allow you to abdicate uh, your responsibility to critically think, to critically evaluate an image, or critically do anything. It's just should support you in your in your workflows. It should support you maybe in your work list prioritization. But at the end of the day, you still have to review. Yeah. All right, great thoughts. Mo Abdulel of Densitons, thanks again for being with us. Thank you. Signing off from Chicago, my name is Brian Casey. <laughs>